Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we have so many pastors who have kept quiet while the country is going to the dogs. But above all, there are pastors who are also gaining courage and they are facing William Ruto by telling him the truth. As you see people keeping quiet, you will think like everything in this country is in order. And that's how Ruto is taking the matter. But once people start speaking out, especially the people he was banking on at the previous election, the people he used to accelerate to power, start coming out and facing him with the truth, then Ruto will know the reality. So Pastor Simon has a message for William Samuel Ruto. And indeed he's confirming to Kenyans that religion betrayed this country. Ruto used religion to ascend to power and they supported him. They believed in his idea. They knew that once Ruto get to power, everything is going to be hallelujah or sana. But the opposite is happening. They thought that in William Ruto's government, the poor will have a space. The hustlers are going to enjoy and that the economy is going to work for everyone. But what men of cloth are discovering is that there is hell in Kenya. And because of this, this pastor is deciding to remove his collar and start now facing the regime with the truth and is calling on other pastors to stop being in the comfort zone, come out and fight for this country, reject William Samuel Ruto and stand with the people. That is exactly what he is calling for. Listen to him shortly, then we are going to continue with this discussion. Mr. William Ruto, I want to deliver my simple message to you and I don't know how it will arrive Pamezayako, but I pray and wish that somehow someone will deliver this message to you. My name is Simon and I stand here to speak on behalf of many Kenyans who are going through tough times. You may not be aware of what is happening Ukuchinu Lisema Kwa Ground. Okay? But Kenyans are suffering. Wa Kenya wanaumia, wa Kenya wanateseka, wa Kenya wanalia, wa Kenya wanahangaika bila maelezo, yani kiwango ambacho hakiwezi kuelezeka. Viongozi wanaokuzunguka hawakupati nafasi ya kujua hali ya mkenya wa kawaida. Instead, wanasimama na kupiga makofi na kutukana viongozi wale wengine bila kujali mwananchi wa kawaida. Mwenye anaumia na kuteseka zaidi ni yule mtu ambao unakumbuka wakati wa kampeni ulikuwa unashinda na yeye. Now, ulikuja makanisani bwana rais na tukakuaccommodate vizuri sana. Tukakupokea kama mmoja wetu. Tukakupigia makofi and tukasikiza sera zako na tukasema this should be the best somehow appears to be one of the best option but now mahali tumefika bwana rais sijui kama ni mimi ninaota ama sijui kama janamu shetani amefunguliwa yani sielewi maana Kenya si Kenya tena bwana rais mimi kwanza nataka kujitenga na dini na ku apologize kwa wakenya wote kwa jumla ya kwamba dini ilisaliti inji ya Kenya na kuanzia leo mimi natoa kasuku yangu na weka kando. Naweka chini mpaka mambo siku ile atakuwa mazuri kwa maisha wa Kenya wote wa kawaida. Now listen to me. That aside, ulisema ukiweka Biblia chini mambo yatakuwa mazuri ama mambo yatakuwa venye atakuwa. Na kweli yamekuwa tofauti. Wacha tuweke chini, tutafutie watu wetu, watoto wetu, okay? Wale viongozi wa serikali mnasikia namna gani mukisimama kwenye makanisa mbele na mnaanza kuinsult wale viongozi wengine. How do you feel ukisimama na unasema eh hey, fulani eh hey, fulani maisha ya kuongea kuhusu watu wengine yalipitwa mko na serikali why can't you talk about progress ya serikali kwa nini msilete amani a president should be a symbol of national unity what we are seeing through your government is a symbol of national division i mean where are we headed to as a country tell me tunaelekea wapi kenyata alikuwa Yaani ulikiona serikali everybody could feel secure kiwa kila pale but now there is tension all over because we don't know atokelo kwa barabara unaweza gongwa na mawe I want to thank our police officers but I want I still have a message for you, for them police officers you are our nyinyi ni watoto wetu nyinyi ndugu zetu aunti zetu na wale wengine I first want to apologize kwa ile previous video ambayo nilimake 
I said polisi wanakaa maisha ya kufinyiliwa kweli na mshahara ni duni. Tunawaombea siku moja mtukuba polisi wacheni tuandamane tuwatetee. Na tukiandamana mshahara yako ikifika laki moja laki mbili at least hata utakuwa na maisha maana. Don't fight your fellow Kenyan police kataa. Kataa kuweka risasi kwa bunduki na kushoot mkenya. Hiyo maisha kataa. Hiyo damu isikue juu yako. Kataa kabisa. Viongozi wa dini It is high time now we close all the churches and we join our fellow Kenyans. Okay? To lose Kenya, to join wa Kenya, to funga makanisa hata kama ni miezi sita hakuna kwenda kanisa, hakuna kuokota fungu la kumi maana wa Kenya wanateseka. Yaani mpaka tukomboe Kenya. Kenya kama rais atasikia na usikilize kilio cha wa Kenya. Haya mambo ambayo watu napitia sidhani kama yatakuwa shida. Every president should be accommodative. If you don't listen Mr. President I think this is going to be tougher and I pray and wish that we don't get to some experiences about tulikuwa nazo miaka yuko nyuma. I am wishing for the best for my of my country but again I urge leaders please stop attacking each other. Accommodate each other. Order uh, the Kenya Kwanza government stop attacking the the Azimio leaders. It depends a lot. Wako na watu ambao wanaongoza. But let's not go there. It's high time we join our hands. Viongozi wa dini mimi nimeweka kola yangu kando na waheshimu lakini ukweli is i time now we open our eyes and speak as it is thank you now as we continue with the spanish discussion just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed please consider subscribing to our channel subscribe as a master thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, when Pastor Simon calls on Bishop to close churches and join Kenyans in struggle, what does he mean by that statement? Or what is your take in that statement? In my view, I see a pastor calling for demonstrations because Kenyans who are in struggle have been on the street demonstrating. And by the fact that you are closing the church, it means he is calling pastors to the street to go and join common mana inchi in the fight for their space in this country. Fight for the economy, fight for their jobs, fight for their lives. Rather than just sitting in church and singing hallelujah when the country is going to the dogs. So today we are seeing a man of God who is calling for mass demonstration which is going to be joined by pastors. So definitely Ruto should be aware that now we have men of God who are coming out and they propose demonstration in this country. You know he has had people who are calling off demonstrations. They come in their, in their cloth. They read statement and they, they, they try to call up demonstrations and try to call Ruto and Raila to talk. But now we have a man of God who is saying that the only way to deal with these people it is demonstration. All other avenues have been tried, tested, but seemingly Ruto is too hard to listen, it's too hard to feel the problem that we are facing in this country. Therefore, what he need it is just mass demonstration. That's then what will make him to listen to Kenya. So, Pastor Simon is calling for demonstration in this country. And this demonstration should be joined by pastors and he's ready to be among those who are going to lead this demonstration. Because now it is coming clear that we have to fight for our space. You keep quiet, then you destroy the future of your children and even your own life. So that's what he's calling out for. Number two, and this is something we have been seeing out every time. Eh? When Ruto gets to somewhere and then he's speaking, sometimes not even speaking sense, sometimes just lying to the people, flat lie. You find people in that congregation clapping their hands. Surely, how do you clap when Ruto is lying? And that's what he's saying here, that Ruto has been surrounded by leaders who do not want him to get out to know what Kenyans are going through. But the only thing they're doing is that to always clap for William Ruto when he makes statement, be it political, be it economic, any statement they will make, they will be clapping. But they don't sit with him, tell him the truth, nor even allow him 
to get out and know what Kenyans are going through. And because Ruto has been surrounded by people who are just clapping for him, it means none of these people can tell him the truth. None of these people can advise him. Because once I start clapping hands for you, when will I advise you? Will there be a time for me to advise you? The answer is no. Or even, will you listen to my advice? If any time I speak, you are clapping. Then I come out, I want to advise you. Would you even consider my advice? Ruto cannot consider such counsel. You can't counsel him. You can't offer your counsel to William Ruto and listen to you. Because now, you've been made to be just a hand clapper. You know, you cheer team, you have just been cheering, cheering. So those are the people who are surrounding William Ruto. Because of this, Pastor Simon is feeling that we will have no space if these are the people that are going to lead us in this country. If these are the people who are close to William Ruto. So it is time to just fight for yourself. And that is the truth in this country. I've been seeing people saying that Raila should not go into handshake with the Ruto, which is stick. Raila is not going for that. There are some people who are saying that it should not have a bipartisan talk. Seemingly, it should not be there because as a new one election, what are we discussing? But above all, if Raila and Ruto are speaking, the question is, you should be asking yourself, eh? what about you? Where is your space? Are you putting your hope only on Raila to fight for you? When are you going to fight for yourself? That's what Pastor is saying here. Stand out and fast, fast for your fight for yourself. And today, this pastor has denounced William Samuel Ruto. What he's telling other pastors and his congregation is that we were lied to and we brought in a wrong person who seemingly he's, he has no he has no interest to work for the people. We sold him as the candidate of the church. That's why he's saying religion betrayed Kenya. And indeed, it is true religion betrayed this country. So, Ruto, who was packaged as the candidate from the church, he's even coming for the church. He's closing churches. When Mama Ida Odinga said, we regularize. For him, he's closing churches. So that means even he's coming for everyone. So if you don't speak for yourself today, tomorrow you will have no chance or space to speak for yourself. You will have been dealt with completely. So it is high time you come out and face Ruto with the truth. And the church should come out also. The more you keep quiet, the more Ruto will want to use the church again. And he is trying, he is trying it. He was in Kisi and he has been honest in Mount Kenya. Every time either the nomination prayer service starts, gives their own all, all those things. But we know what happened in Kisi. The mobilizing people pay them to attend. So the church should now start distancing itself from one William Samuel Ruto. Ruto was no longer a candidate from the church. He was no longer a God-fearing person. If he was, then the country would not be suffering.